Hey, Dog Pound, what's cracking? Hey, so I get a lot of requests from you guys to do uh, chicken wings on the uh, Weber kettle with the Vortex. So that's what we're going to do today. I cook wings all the time. I don't always record it. So today, let's give the Dog Pound what they want. So chicken wings on the Weber kettle with the Vortex coming right up. You with it? Let's get it. All right guys, so yeah, we're gonna do some chicken wings today. And uh, you know, a while back I was uh, over at T-Roy's house and uh, T-Roy had this seasoning uh, called the Cajun Life that uh, he was cooking on seafood. And man, that stuff was really good. So uh, long story short, I uh, got in touch with uh, Chris Fontenot. Hope I'm saying that right, Fontenot, Fontenot. I'm not really sure exactly how to pronounce it, but got in contact with Chris over at Cajun Life and uh, he shot me a little care package. And inside that package, we've got us some chicken rub, guys. So that's what we're gonna put on these chicken wings today. We're gonna use this Cajun Life uh, chicken rub uh, I'm looking forward to it because like I've said, I've, I've tried the seafood stuff over at T-Roy's house and it was really good. And uh, if you guys saw the live stream that I did a couple of weeks ago when I received this package, you might remember the legend that's on the back of this thing, which I think is really cool. So if you see that, you know, it, it, it basically tells you uh, what all this rub is good for. So, you know, hey man, it's... it's <laughs> It's got some of everything on here. Pig, alligator, crawfish, uh, beef, uh, fish. I mean, man, you name it, it's on here. So so anyway, so that's what we're gonna do today, guys. We're gonna get the Weber kettle fired up. We're gonna get the chicken wing season with the Cajun Life chicken rub, and we're gonna make it happen, guys, all right? So uh, let's get to it. All right, guys, so I'm gonna show y'all how I get my wings seasoned up. It's really quick and simple. Uh, but first, let's get this package cut open here. It smells really good. And as I do with most rubs, I always take a little bit and taste it. It's got a good amount of salt. It's got a little bit of, little bit of kick to it. So basically, guys, what I did was I took my wings and I put them in a Ziploc bag. That's how I start off. And then basically, I just dump my uh, rub right in there. We'll zip it up. <laughs> Give it a toss. Alright guys, so just like that, we got our uh, wings in the bag. We got them all seasoned up with our chicken rub from a Cajun Life. And uh, man, now it's time to get the grill ready and get these bad boys on. So let's get that going. All right guys, so we're gonna get these wings put on here. And basically what I'm gonna do is take my bag and dump my wings on one side of this grill here and we'll just start spacing them out. We've already got our uh, Vortex in ready to go. So it should be a pretty quick and uh, simple cook today. So just like that, we got our wings on guys and we're gonna use a little mesquite wood chip today. Put that guy right there and we'll pop the lid back on. I'm running both vents wide open and we'll check on these in a little while. All right, dog pound. So, hey, our wings have been on this grill here for probably about 15, 18 minutes or so. And so I'm going to go ahead and get them flipped. So you guys come along for the ride. Here we go. All right, guys, so we're going to go ahead and get these wings flipped. And as you can see, they actually have a really good color to them already. And they're sizzling along pretty good. The uh, color on it from this rub is really good actually. Most of the time I'll actually add paprika or cayenne or whatever. Uh, cayenne because I love the heat and it also gives a good color. 
but paprika definitely gives a good color that you're looking for on your on your chicken wings but I don't think I'm gonna need to do that on these I'm kind of digging the way these are looking as they are and it smells fantastic I am uh, if you guys know me when I make my wings I don't really sauce them either a lot of people put sauce and stuff on their wings I don't really like to I kind of like to keep them dry uh, I'll put my rub on it afterwards and that's how I kind of season it and then we'll go with a spicy uh, jalapeno ranch so so anyway our wings are flipped and we're gonna get the lid back on careful to rotate the lid again and I'll bring you guys back here in a little bit all right guys so hey wings have been going we flipped them they've been gone now probably about another 10 minutes after we flipped them so now it's time to get these wings off because they are completely done all right guys so wings are done typically you're looking for a good 175 degrees on the wings i've cooked them so many times that i know these are absolutely ready and as you can see they've got great color on them so we're gonna go ahead and get these wings off. You know, as I've stated before, you could sauce the wings if you want it and uh, let them glaze over until they get tacky, but I'm not really a sauce guy like that. I kind of like to make my wings uh, dry, if you will, and then add whatever type of dry rub to it afterwards if I want to make it a different flavor. Uh, today, we're using the Cajun Life Chicken Rub, so that's what we got going on on there with uh, mesquite wood so just like that we got these wings off we're gonna let them cool down a little bit before we uh, bite into them because they're, they're they're extremely hot right now so we're gonna go ahead and let them cool off and then uh, we'll give them a taste and I'll bring you guys back then when we get into that all right all right guys so this is what we got for our wings here and uh, man I tell you what these wings uh, just smell and look amazing so uh, pretty excited about getting ready to try this. All right, gang, so I, hey, it was a really simple and fast cook. You got to see how I do my chicken wings on the Weber kettle with the barbecue vortex. Uh, we use the Cajun Life chicken rub, and uh, man, that was really it. You know, we seasoned it up, put it in a, we did it all in a Ziploc bag. I like to do it really simple and easy don't have to clean up any dishes from uh, putting it on a tray or anything like that put it in the bag toss it around put the wings on the grill throw the bag away that's how I like to do it very simple very quick very easy uh, so again hey you could add stuff to the seasoning if you wanted if you wanted to kick up the heat and you wanted to add more uh, cayenne pepper or habanero powder or whatever it is you want to do by all means go for it but the basis of what we were doing today is I want to try this uh, Cajun life chicken rub by itself see how it comes out so what I've got here is I've got my chicken wings and I've got some jalapeno ranch you know what maybe I'll do that in another video and show you guys how exactly we make our jalapeno ranch but I'm telling you this stuff is absolutely fantastic has a nice little kick up with the jalapeno peppers and Jean makes that stuff all the time so you know what I'll get her on video you guys comment below if y'all want to see Gene make the video of jalapeno ranch so anyway what we're gonna do is go ahead and give this a little taste and I tell you what I'm gonna do is I want to taste it without any ranch without anything added and uh, there's our wing right there guys so uh, let's give it a taste and see what happens here nice so the rub it has a great salt to it it's not super salty at all I can taste like the garlic on the back side of it it's a really good mellow uh, a really good chicken rub man this is really good dude I really like this but uh let's try it with the uh, ranch there we go with our little dip in our uh, jalapeno ranch guys I'm telling you this stuff is really good I, I really urge you guys comment down below and tell Jean you want to see her make this uh, jalapeno ranch because it's really good and it goes well on a lot of different things. So let's give it a taste. Man, I got to tell you, 
This rub is really good and it really does actually have a back end little bit of heat to it. Not super hot at all, but it's really good. Or maybe it's the wrench. I don't know. Either way it goes, it's great. I give it a thumbs up. Wait, two thumbs up, man. This stuff is excellent. So, a Cajun life seasoning, guys. I urge you to find this stuff wherever you possibly can because it's really good. Uh, I've got some other rubs from uh, Chris, and I'm going to try those out as well. So, uh, man, it's been fun. Love hanging out with you guys. Have a safe whatever it is you're doing. But, uh, guys, I'm about to go get into more of these wings. So, y'all ain't got to go home, but you got to get up out of here. Peace!